of the leadership you two have provided. Is it your team? Yeah, I think it is. You know, we've been doing a good job of um, uh, pushing the guys through and conditioning and, uh, you know, been getting the guys in here, even the folks don't want to see here. Um, you got what folks don't want to see here. <laughs> being here, you know what I'm saying, just keep, being player coach, you know, uh, being coach the team is strong. Players have been doing a good job of that. What, what, what kind of expectations do you have as, as a team, you think? You know, we're just trying to win, you know. We, we're a young team, we've got some young guys, and we're just trying to make some noise, and, um, you know, show people that we can um, do it. Do you feel like you're one of the more vocal leaders you have to take care of? Yeah, you know, I, both on the court, off the court. You know, I text um, some of the young guys here. Um, they need advice to class, see if they up for class. You know, I've just been doing everything besides just on the court. Who do you see as maybe the go-to guy in this team? Are you a brand in terms of scoring? You know, you know, Brandon more versatile than I am. You know, he gets the basket better. He also can shoot. You know, um, you know Brandon probably is uh, our overall best player this year. And, you know, and, um, you know, Sam is good as well. He's experienced. He knows um, the ball will be in his hands more than anybody probably this year. What's you it like to be a part of a team that's going to be doing a lot of pressing, a lot of uh, full court uh, transition? Should be a lot of fun for you. It'd be a lot of fun. You know, I'm used to it from high school and uh, also prep school. You know, and I came here last year. I was uh, my first two years here. You know, I've been bumping ever since. So it's been, it's been good to see these other guys get a chance to bump and you know experience it in Italy and uh, for the next season coming up. How was your game personally for you? Coming great. You know, got a little confidence after Italy. You know. Out the early, and then you know we just been getting prepared. I've been in the gym every day and talking to Chester and just watching film with him and just learning the game. And with the ball happening and some of their problems with you? Have yeah, everything's been coming along. You know, I've just been in the gym. It's been dedicated. And I know it's a big season for um, being the team. It's important that they, you know those confidence when there is a problem too. Right? Yeah, I noticed that. You know, uh, I've just been trying to work hard, do other things. You know, Coach Weber already talked to me to keep your confidence throughout the whole season yeah. and to stay consistent. So how do you think the team works in terms of the schedule? You know, we look pretty good. You know, we, we have pretty good players all around. You know, point guard, shooting guard, you know, small forwards, power forward, centers. You know, we, we got players that's ready to bang and rebound, so we're going to be pretty good this year, I think. You're going to have to bring the freshmen along a little bit of time? Yeah, you know, they're getting better by the day, and, you know, you got Tracy's playing pretty well, and, you know, he'll have to play some big minutes, especially if um, anything happened to Sam and Sam gets hurt. So um, Tracy will be a, uh, another big key to the team this year. You and Sam got a relationship back in Peoria. Did you know Sam more than just the game you played against him? Or? Um, no, we, we built our confidence when he got here. You know, we got to talking more, and, you know, we kind of understand where he's coming from, and we just had stories because, you know, he know Dariq is, and I know sure. Dariq is from growing up. So, you know, we had a lot of fun, fun in the locker room conversation. How big a piece is he to the puzzle for this team? Oh, he's a big key. You know, he's smart. He's handling the ball. You know, he's, he shoot the ball. And when I saw him in Italy, I really saw some things that, you know, he give the ball up, don't take the extra dribble. So, um, he do some things that other point guards can't do. Out of, out of the freshmen, which one do you think will make the biggest impact? You know, all of them. I, I can't really say. You know, Mike Shaw, he, he showed Coach out in Italy that he can, you know, get 10 points on the Matto. And, you know, Tracy handled the ball pretty well, getting the paint and shoot. Um, Devin, he just got back from injury, you know, Chester, and the coaches call him one, a smooth kid. You know, he plays real smooth and calm. And Nana's probably going to be a, a big factor for us as well, you know, run the floor like a horse and, and you know, he rebounds. So it's going to be a big team all the time. How's the point guard looking? The point guard, you know, well, you got three you got three point guards. You got, you got Crandall that can run a point. You got Tracy. You got, you know, you got Sam that can run the point guard position. So, you know, it's just going to be real versatile. You know, coach going to sub in five and maybe four or three at a time. So, you know, it's going to be a different look this year. How about you or Brandon? Do you have some time in that position? Yeah, you know, we, we might bring the ball down the court for a couple um, for for a certain play. You know, show show the um, show people we can run the point and you know show people that you know we got a versatile team and you know players like Devin, he's a four coach. He can play the four man and if you get your four man to, to guard a point guard coming down the court, it's going to be very versatile and hard to guard. When you lose three or four seniors like you guys did, who were such key guys and had to find roles. It's kind of a wide open in a sense. Is that exciting for you and, and the other guys? You can kind of mold this team in the way that you know it suits the games of the guys you have. Yeah, hey, you know, well, just just being just being an upperclassman now, you know, it's kind of different, and just getting the opportunity to have a time to run the team with other other um, good junior players, and you know. Um, it's going to be a good experience. You know, we're trying to focus on just getting out there on the court and just winning games. You know, um, we have a very young team. Only two players on the team really have experience playing Illinois basketball games, and you know it's going to be a big success. And uh, me and Brandon have to do a good job for us to be successful. DJ, how does this group mesh off the court? You guys, you guys hang out together off the court? Oh, uh, we do a lot of things off the court. You know, we we always hang out and like go bowling or like. 
you know, go to the movie, go to the show, go out to eat. You know, we do a lot of things as a team. You know, there's no separate player that want to go on and do their own thing. You know, the main thing this year is chemistry, and we just, um, and we've been taking that since um, early. You know, coach put us in different hotel rooms in early, and you know, it, it gave us a um, time to experience and like, get to know each other. Myers and Tyler are, are such talented guys. You know, up front. What do you expect? You know them to do as, in terms, especially of the experience they have now. You know, what kind of strides do you see from them? You know, Myers been doing a good job of. Um, you know, his his attitude's gotten better, and you know he's he's become a better player and uh, had a better attitude. You know, uh, Myers been doing a good job. You know, ever since he came back from his overseas trip, he got contributed and uh, been playing pretty well. You know, getting other people involved. I'm um, shooting the ball pretty well, and you know, he's just been doing a good job and try to do whatever he can to, uh, just to win games. Thanks.